up? This is HD News here. Uh, this is very good news about the hemophilia uh, possible cure. AV5 factor 8 gene therapy transfer, basically gene transfer to a severe type of hemophilia on mild base. So I'm good for a while. So it's basically it's safe for a good year, and that's really impressive because this could save a lot of lives <coughs> and costs. Because the therapy alone, your average cost is more than you average Americans want to pay or other countries. So it's basically deleting the bad part, the gene, and then putting a new one in, basically. So it's like 50 units, which is very low compared to my dose of factor each time. Mine's is usually in the thousands. So I dose of Pancor, which is So the virus, like the rest of them. So usually gene therapy uses vectors to do this. Two to nine weeks after full full transfer, basically. All seven piece people got into one year after those. So see it works. Read it. See what I'm saying. See right here. Week 22. The Mary in adverse event, which is one point one half times the upper lo limit of a normal range. Well, that's pretty good. So, so no antibodies, which is good because you need those antibodies to be gone and to have factory release. So. This is really good news. I mean, I seen it. It's like seeing it right here. This is a picture on my Facebook. So, continue to factory infusions after treatments, which is fantastic because it costs a lot. I mean, you don't want to know how much it costs. Just uh, there's a lot of companies that went bankrupt because of trying to cure a lot of these very rare diseases that we're stuck with and I'm stuck with so thank you This is pretty much how it is for a severe type of hemophilia itself. Three times a week for ankles and all. Changes life. It seems to turn 40. It works better, apparently. Or whatever they say. Seems like the same thing, basically. So, if you got hemophilia, you can bleed internally again. You need to eat. It can also bruise very easy, so it's good that this groundbreaking trial has got positive results and it's fully working. Guess we're getting to the point where this technology is getting real strong. So I'm happy about this because, you know, it can you can be lucky or you cannot be. I mean, I didn't want to see that, but whatever.
so this was in London by the way okay let's do this this is new so it's the same one basically so you like the channel go ahead and below subscribe here and comment and like and share this video I think it's helpful that we had this problem is future cure I'm saying from the low switch is good so 85 percent patients are lost even after many months after treatment so which is pretty good 3,000 and you know it's genetic so if you're born with it tough luck I'm one too So, I was actually the lucky one. I got 9%, and my cousins got 7%, so I kind of between there. But still, you still need to worry about it and be taking care of yourself. And, I mean, I always wanted this. I mean, when I was in 8th grade, I wanted this so bad. I mean, the things I missed out on was football, sports, any kind of sport they were worried about. You know, not take a chance, just wasn't worth it. I mean, even work related. Mm -mm. So, depending if it stays and it keeps working, I will wait. I would probably want to wait another five years. See if it gets more stable and it lasts or more. Excuse me. You can see we got all these right here. So, Also, the good news is I'm going to save up for a gaming computer, which will cost me probably a ton of money. The Mac is working now. I got the partition put back in one. Something with the new Mac OS, if you have a thousand gig hard drive, you can only partition a thousand. It's a little over a thousand. Like, it sounds like software that made that hardware. It's like, yeah, I was right. So that's back to normal. Apple apparently is not, you just think you can just extract one partition, that'd be fine, and reset it back to normal. Well, apparently there's a lot of flaws in this new operating system, and I see here, man. Seems like I was even Sahara that had the same issue. I mean, I just, Apple has these issues that they need to fix. I'm willing to get rid of this Mac and switch to Windows. Because of the issues. So right now, I usually use 70 percent of the memory. Now I'm only using 48, which is kind of unusual. So it's good. Maybe it was a hard drive issue that caused all the system not to work right, and it was just software based. Seems like. So I'll see how it goes. It's apparently good. Was there any other issues come up? Rise around here and hope not.